just a witch. Um, here. <laughs> um, it's just a toy, it's not a real witch. Uh, um, but yes, I have a new set behind me. Um, I have a board where I can write things. I have a cloud, I have a unicorn, a butterfly, uh, a poster of my favorite musical. Yes, I have a lot of new things. I hope you like it. Um, so before we start the video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put a new video every single Friday and the video is always... Super colorful, <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, click the bell so you receive notifications every time I post a video. Uh, sometimes I upload bonus videos, and I have bad news for you because this is probably my last Halloween video. <laughs> uh, because um, Halloween is gonna be during the week, I probably have to work. But if I if I can do it, um, I'll probably post a video for you guys because I love Halloween and I love. Um, making videos. So today, to uh, wrap this series up, I decided to tell you my favorite Halloween story. It's you probably know this story because it's um, quite famous. Um, it's called Frog is Halloween. So I'm gonna be telling you and showing pictures. And this book is by Jonathan London, who is a great um, author. I really like his um, children's book and frogs i love frogs so yeah um, so i hope you enjoy it but don't forget if you're not subscribed you can't watch the video you can't i'm sorry you have to subscribe show it to your friends your family watch it with your parents if they're around um, so that's it so let's go right into the video frog is halloween by jonathan london For Froggy, Halloween meant candy, but it also meant dressing up, and he wondered, what should I be for Halloween? I know, cried Frog, Super Frog, flying high over the city, faster than a dragon flying, stronger than a bullfrog. No, something spooky, I know, cried Frog. Ghost Frog! He poked two holes in his mother's best white sheet and draped it over his head. No, something scarier. I know, cried Frog. Vampire Frog! He put on his black cape, zwoosh, pulled on his mom's black tight, zoop, put on his slick black wig, zap, and said in his best Dracula voice, Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care, I'll put down your underwear. Froggy! called his mother. What? Halloween is not till next week. You're supposed to be doing your homework, dear. I'm Count Von Frogler, said Froggy. Vampire frogs don't do homework. Froggy's mother laughed. Vampires have fangs, she said. You're a toothless wonder. Whoops, cried Froggy, covering his mouth. So, all week at school, Froggy wondered, What should I be for Halloween? A football player? A cowboy? A zombie? Froggy! Cried his teachers, Miss Witherspoon. What? Kindly keep your mind on your work, dear. But his mind was on Halloween. Every day after school he got ready. He carved crazy pumpkins, he hung sticky spider webs all over the front of his house. He hung his mother's sheets like a ghost in the wind and he practiced it. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care, I'll pull down your underwear. At last, it was the night before Halloween and all through the house there were creaking sounds and scratching sounds. Froggy was scared, he shivered in bed, and imagined ghosts and goblins and werewolves and witches. Witches! Zap! I know, cried Frog. I will be a frog prince for Halloween. In the morning, he put on his black cape, zwoosh, pulled on his mom's black tights, zoop, 
put on his slick black wig, Zet, plucked on a gold crown, Zook, and flashed his mighty sword. Ta-da! At the Halloween parade at school, all the girls thought he looked cute, especially Froglina. At that night, when the dark crept in and all the ghosts and goblins crept out to trick or treat, Princess Froglina leapt out and chased after the frog prince to give him a kiss. Yik! cried Froggy. He was never more scared in his life. He leapfrogged over his mother. He leapfrogged over his father. He leapfrogged over his friend Max and flopped up Max's steps. Flop, flop, splat! He tripped on the porch and Fragalina fell on top of him. The door flew open and... Uh-oh! There stood the wickedest witch in the world. Uh, trick or treat! squeaked Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Luckily, Fragalina ran away and the witch turned out to be Max's granny and that Halloween, Froggy got tons of candy. But his sword had torn a hole in his candy bag and by the time he got home... His candy was all gone! Oh no! cried Froggy. What's the matter? asked his mother. He showed his empty bag. Well, you're in luck, said his mother, holding up a full bowl. I guess nobody liked my treats. And what do you think she gave him? Chocolate covered. Flies! Yum! cried Froggy. My favorite! Yum, 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 yum. the video if you're subscribed um, I really 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 appreciate um, if you watched the series I really appreciate um, that you watched all the videos so I hope you liked it um, sh share with your friends your family your parents your teachers your classmates everyone and I see you next week because next Friday I have a brand new video. It's probably not going to be Halloween themed again. If I if I have time to do it, I'll post a Halloween video on the thirty first. Um, but if I, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it, um, so I see you next week for a brand new video. Again, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, do all the things you have to do, and I see you next week. Bye. <laughs>